hello guys as you can see on my desk I've got an iMac I believe a G4 as you can see I'm cleaning it up with a compressed air and I would like to show you what's inside so this is a all-in-one we've got a monitor and the main computer inside so this is the main board we've got a battery backup we've got a slot for a memory and what's the most interesting this is a standard memory module so there is absolutely nothing nothing amazing about it this is just a standard memory we've got our CPU I of course going to remove that and replace the thermal paste and from the from the interesting things also the hard disk drive and the optical disk drive there are just a standard one using the IDE connector the parallel ATR and that's the assembly so we've got our standard tape we've got a hard disk drive 3.5 inch and the optical disk drive that one is I believe a DVD-ROM so that's basically it and it's just using standard uh, PC cable just like we use on our normal computer our standard RAM this one is a power PC so this is not a Intel CPU and the upper part as you can see it using a standard Molex connector just like on the ordinary PC we've got a power supply built in a fan and the speaker so that's basically everything I can tell you just one thing if you would like to clean the fan using an air always block it because you don't want to spin it because when you will start spinning it it will start generating electricity just like the fan so yes that's how it looks like and it's looking quite interesting I was always curious what's inside and as you can see it's quite quite a lot of components that you would like to found in a normal PC computer so I clean everything up and as you can see the board is looking much nicer much more nice and of course over there also and just in case you would like to copy me I'm using the standard brush but you have to be careful when you are using standard paintbrush because they might might introduce the static electricity I'm using the the air supply with the negative ion so it's discharge every static electricity on the board that might that might happen when you are using a brush and this is our heat pipe so you have to remember to apply a thermal paste over there and over there because that everything is a heat sink for your CPU so our heat pipe and this is our CPU and that's how the CPU looks like and I will try to get a nice close-up I hope as you can see it's looking beautiful I will apply new thermal paste and I'm pretty sure I will get able to run it again so thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye